So yesterday I had a, a presentation uh, which was uh, essentially uh, focusing on how to improve the quality of cancer screening. And my talk was uh, focusing on the low and middle income countries. Uh, you know, the, the cancer screening programs are there in all the countries, but then the quality and reach of the program is highly variable. And especially in the low and middle income country, there are a lot of issues in terms of quality and reach of cancer screening program. Say, for example, there are uh, countries which have cancer screening coverage, which is less than 5%. But then more importantly, we don't even know what is the coverage of cancer screening in many countries. And, and then also we have to understand that coverage does not tell us much about the quality of cancer screening program. So we need to collect data to, uh, to, to estimate the other indicators which are beyond cancer screening coverage, going into uh, uh, to, to the detection of the disease, and more importantly, how many of those who have been detected to have cancer or pre-cancer been treated. So that is the, <clears throat> the, the importance of collecting data using certain indicators and measuring the impact of the cancer screening. In, especially in the low and middle income countries, there is a highly deficiency of this kind of activities. You know, cancer screening is a great public health program, but then if it is not uh, implemented with appropriate quality, there can be harms. Harms can be at the individual level. Say, for example, men and women may get a uh, lot of false positive results, and they may have psychological or, uh, or uh, physical harms because of that. And more importantly, there can be a drainage of the programmatic resources if the, uh, the screening program is not implemented with appropriate quality. So that is why quality is important. And to understand quality, we have to measure the activities. So for measurement of activities, as you can well understand, we have to collect the data across the cancer screening program continuum, uh, so right from the number of women or men participating to what happens to them after participating. So that is why cancer screening data collection is important. Uh, every country, when they launch a cancer screening program, they are supposed to build, have a built-in quality assurance program, which should collect data on a regular basis and then assess the, the performance of the program. Unfortunately, the, in many countries, especially in the low and middle income countries, this culture is not there. Mostly it is on paper, but then the implementation is very poor. So that is why at IARC we have initiated a new project which we call Cancer Screening in Five Continents, or Can Screen Five in short. This is, aims to collect data about, on cancer screening program performance from different countries across the globe. But then this project is not about passive data collection. We want to uh, improve the capacity of the countries to understand the importance of having quality assurance in the program, the importance of collecting data on a regular basis to measure performance of the program, and use that data to improve the quality of the program. So that, that is why CanScreen 5 invests quite a lot in training of the cancer screening program managers, and then work with them to collect the information and data from the different cancer screening programs. Uh, we, are, uh, we are going to pu publish uh, the results uh, of uh, data that have been collected from 85 different countries across the world. In spite of all the challenges, we managed to collect information and data. And that uh, result will show how, what is the big deficiency, a big, big gap that is there in cancer screening program data collection from the low and middle income countries. Even in many of the high income countries, the programs do not collect data uh, across the continuum of cancer care. So there is deficiency in data collection in uh, all over the world, but then this is much more uh, in the low and middle income countries, showing the poor quality and then poor focus on the quality of cancer screening programs in the LMICs. So CanScreen 5 project, it's a, it's a global project. And it's not time bound, as you can understand. It is going to be a continued project. We will, depending on the resources, we'll continue to uh, do training of the program managers. 
But then for its long-term sustenance, what we are doing is we are do, uh, training the master trainers in the different countries. So for example, uh, a couple of months back, we trained master trainers from 17 African countries. Uh, <clears throat> these are uh, cancer screening program managers, but then they will also act as uh, program uh, master trainers to train more program managers. So that way, this will have a ripple effect, and then will uh, gradually train more and more people to understand the value of quality in cancer screening. And uh, we'll keep, uh, st we'll, as, we, as they, they get trained, we'll also keep collecting data. But then certainly, th this is a global project. We do need the uh, resources and support from uh, different uh, funding agencies, uh, other uh, you know, interested stakeholders. And thankfully, we have received uh, support from many of the uh, uh, organizations that are interested in improving cancer care for men and women in the world. Thank <music> you.